Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to make a card with a fun shaving foam technique. Hope you enjoy. So I started this card with a piece of paper that's five and three quarter inches squared. The finished card will be six inches squared. And I used a bit of distress glaze and I rubbed it through one of the Lavinia stamps stencils. This one is called Ornate. And I just picked up a little bit of the Distress Glaze at a time and then rubbed it through various parts of the stencil. And I was trying not to put too much towards the middle of the card because I want to have my main stamp stamped there. And then I'm going to remove the stencil and you can see a little bit of that Distress Glaze. It kind of has the consistency of Vaseline and it helps to resist any of the ink that will go on later on. Next, I used some of the new Lavinia Stamps Dinkles and I combined them with some shaving foam. Any shaving foam will do as long as it's the foam kind rather than the gel kind. So I used some of the blueberry and I mixed it with water and then I just combined this with the shaving foam. And then I also used some of the magenta combined with the blueberry, which makes a really nice purple. And this is also combined with water and I mixed that into the shaving foam as well. So I have some blue and some purple shaving foam. Now I usually use the shaving foam to make a marbled effect, but I wanted to use it in a different way. So I'm just sort of swiping it across my card and you'll see it, the areas with that distress glaze resisted. So you get little bits of white peeking through and you get this beautiful soft purpley and blue background, which looks great. I'm just gonna use some a little bit more there so that it's completely covered and then I'll use a clean bit of paper towel just to wipe off my card and you can see my background which is quick and easy looks just gorgeous next I'm going to stamp my main stamp in the middle of that background I'm going to use the VersaFine Claire Twilight ink and I'm going to stamp the large compass from Lavinia Stamps. And just keep in mind that when you stamp over Distress Glaze, it will resist stamping. So it's not quite as clear as it normally would be, but we can fix that later on in the video. I'm also going to stamp the star clusters also from Lavinia Stamps. And I'm just going to use a little bit of paper just so that the stamping of this star clusters is second generation stamping. And I'm going to stamp this around the four corners and then I'll fill in some of the other areas. And I love how you can rotate this stamp and you can get more or less stars depending on which way the stamp is rotated. And I think these two stamps work really well together, especially for masculine cards or for um, good luck Bon Voyage cards. So I'm just going to finish adding some more stars onto the background there until I'm happy with it. Perfect. Now to add some color onto this background, I'm going to use some Distress Oxides around the edges and that will help to bring out the color from those dinkles that I added earlier. So I'm going to start with some Wilted Violet and just lightly blend this around the edges. And you can see it resists those areas where I used that Distress Glaze at the beginning. So that white really pops now, it looks really nice. And some of that 
um, blue ink, the twilight ink, has smudged a little bit, but that's just because I stamped it right on top of that distress glaze. And then to make it even more of a, a contrast, I'm going to add a little bit of the Villainous Potion just on the four corners. And those two purples combined looked, look really nice on this background. Now to add a little bit more sparkle onto this card, I'm going to use one of the Jelly Roll pens. This is the Sakura Jelly Roll pen, and it's the silver one. I'm just going to paint over the um, compass points just to make this look nice and bright. And it makes a huge difference when you see the card in real life. There's a little bit of sparkle on that compass. Now, if you prefer, you could always add more sparkle by using some stickles over top of that compass, but I kind of like this subtle sparkle that blends in. And then I'm going to go over the northeast, south, and west with a fine black pen. And that's just because of that distress glaze that we used at the beginning. Some of this uh, stamp kind of smudged over that distress glaze, so adding this really helps to brighten it. And while I've got this pen handy, I'll just add some black detailing. And this looks really nice over that twilight ink. Now, I'm also going to use a sentiment on this card, so I'll use that same Twilight ink and stamp the Lavinia sentiment that says, Free Your Inner Creativity. And then I will trim this sentiment down. Now, for the outside around the main part of the card, I'm going to make a little silver mat. So I've got this Brilliance ink. It's called Platinum Planet, and it's a very sparkly silver, and it looks really sparkly and shiny in real life. So I'm just going to blend this around a piece of paper that's six by six inches, and then another piece that is slightly bigger than the sentiment that we just stamped. And because of the silver on that compass, the silver on the outside of this card and around the sentiment looks really well, uh, really nice together. So I'll just use some double-sided tape and add this background to that silver frame. And then I can add the sentiment onto that little bit of silver as well. And then put the sentiment onto my card. And I'm just using double-sided tape for all of this. And if you have problems putting your sentiment straight, as I often do, it's good to use a, like a T, T square ruler just to help you line it up. And you can always check that it's right before you push it down. And then I'll put this whole thing onto my six by six inch card base. So I'm gonna use some double-sided tape and then put it on my card base. Now, depending on what you want to use this card for, you can change the inside. But I've decided I'm going to leave this as a good luck type card. So I'll just going, I'm just going to stamp that compass inside, but have um, some second and third generation stamping. So I wanted to have um, the bottom right and the top left corners stamped. But when I tried to stamp the top left, as you see, it didn't quite stamp perfectly because of the thickness at the top of the card. So what I ended up doing was just masking that top area and then stamping this again. But next time I think I will stamp the inside of the card first before adding that panel onto my card and that will make it a little bit easier to stamp. But if you ever have this problem, I would recommend just using a bit of masking tape like this 
and then you can try stamping it again. But I think this card would work well for birthdays as well, or just general thinking of you cards, because it's quite nice with that compass. And then I put um, a third generation stamp, so it's very, very light, just in the middle there. And I think that uh, is light enough that you could write over if you wanted to. And I really like how this card turned out and I hope you enjoyed it as well. It's a nice, simple technique, but it's quite effective. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video inspiring. If you haven't already, please subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a crafty day!